In this video, we'll review how the area of a region in the plane can be expressed as a double integral. And we're going to take the area between the curve y equal to sine of x. Here's the beginning of that sine curve. And then the y equal to sine of 2x. That's a sine curve as well, but with a shorter period. And there's the beginning of that. And we're going to look at this region r that I've shaded between the two. And I want to express that area as a double integral. In order to do so, we should remember that to find area in terms of double integrals, we should integrate over that region the function being the constantly one function. And so my goal now is just to set up the limits of integration. We first uh, need to make a choice of order, and I'm going to do x as an outer limit of integration and then y in the inner one. So once I've made that choice, I've got to think about the values of x as I move through the region. The x values start at 0, and then they end right where these two curves uh, intersect, and it turns out that that happens at pi over 3. So that tells me my limits of x integration go from 0 to pi over 3. I'm then going to think about a generic value of x and represent that by a vertical slice through the region. Where does it enter the region and where does it exit the region? It enters along y equal to sine of x. So y should be less than that and it exits along y equal to sine of 2x. So my y value should be less than that. So we should be in between those two curves and that's represented by this inequality. That now tells me how to fill in my limits of integration. x are the constant ones, 0 to pi over 3. And y are the sines and sine of 2x. We integrate first with respect to y and the function that we're integrating is 1 so I'm going to get a linear expression evaluated between the two sine curves. I then subtract, put in those two values for y and subtract and then I need to integrate each one of those and evaluate those between 0 and pi over 3 and if you integrate sine of 2x you get minus 1 half cosine 2x and the integral of sine of x is of course minus cosine of x and I'll let you calculate those but it turns out that if you plug in pi over 3 you'll get 1 fourths and that 1 fourth represents the area of that shaded region. Uh, what would be uh, worth discussing here is that if you were in an earlier calculus course and you just wanted to find the area between two curves, you would just integrate the difference of these two functions with respect to one variable, in this case x, and that's exactly what appears here after the first integration. So I've got the difference of the two curves and I'm integrating from x equal to 0 to pi over 3 and that's just the, the uh, probably the first way you learn to find integral or areas between two curves. This is a more general situation than what you've previously learned in uh, maybe an earlier calculus course.